Hi everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a motion background using Adobe Encore. Now the version I'm using is CS5, but this will work with later versions of Encore. So I'm going to show you the final product. When you click preview, you'll be able to see that there's this motion background and then the menu will appear with the play and the chapter buttons. So we're going to go through in this video how to create this. And then as you can see, we've got the button highlights. Now my computer is running a little slow, that's why it looks so choppy. So we'll get into that later. So let's get started. First thing you want to do is organize all of your assets into Adobe Encore. What I've got here is the main video, which will play in the main timeline. So let's look at the flow chart and see how this looks. So this is just a little commercial that was done and um, this is what I'll be using as the main video. So here we have my title which was created in Photoshop and it's just got a play button, a chapter button, and then you know just a little motion background tutorial text. So from the DVD what you'll do is you'll have to link up to your title menu and then from your title you have to link it up to your actual video file. So what we'll do is delete all of this stuff and we'll go back and we will import it all again and start fresh so I'm going to import as asset and then I will import um, my background that I want to use first then I'll import as menu and I'll import my title and the next thing I'm going to import and I'm going to import it as a timeline is the actual video that the DVD will play once you select the play option which is this little commercial. Now once you've imported your DVD video you have to go to your flowchart. So we've got all of our assets in here. I'm going to take my title and move it up into the flowchart and then I'm going to just click on this disk and as you can see I get a little whip that comes out and I'll link it up to the title. So what this does is instead of playing the DVD video as soon as you put the DVD in it will bring up the title and stop right there. The next thing I'm going to do is take the actual video drag it into this flowchart and then from the title I'll link it up to the video. Now as you can see I've got my timeline so we're not going to really do anything with the timeline in this video. This is just how to create the motion background. Now what you want to do is you want to select your title and you can see you've got some options over here. Basic gives you some options how to uh, work the title within the menu system. And then you also have this motion tab. You want to select motion. And then you've got your little pick whips. If you're familiar with After Effects, um, this will make a lot of sense to you. Basically what this does is it allows you to take this video box and link it to an actual video to use for your motion. So I'll drag... I'll click on the pick whip, hold it down, and drag it all the way over to what I want to use for my motion background. And then it'll bring that up onto the title. As you can see, the blue background has now changed to black. What you have to do whenever you're running any type of video, you have to render it. So when you create your motion background, before you can preview it, you have to render it. And that could take some time depending on how long the video is or how, um, how many frames more or less and how much animation is involved with all of this. If you're taking an asset right out of After Effects and pulling it into Adobe Encore, that will increase your render times. Now, over here in this motion menu, before we can actually do anything, we have to set a couple options. The duration of this background is 18 seconds. So I'm actually going to change that because it's supposed to be around 15 seconds, so I'm going to change that to 15. Next what will happen is when you play the DVD menu it'll play for 15 seconds and then down here where it says loop we have it set to loop forever so it'll just want if you leave it on it'll just keep playing from the beginning all the way through the 15 seconds and then back again now that might not look very good and if you know somebody's walked away from the television it'll just keep looping through the full animation so we'll set this loop point to about uh, let's say 13 seconds 
Now, in a more professional environment, you're going to have this all already accounted for so that at the end of your background, your motion background, you'll have some sort of animation or something that can just loop through at the specified time so that it looks good. For this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how to put it all together. Now, I've set the loop point for 13 seconds, and what that will do is, after the first time the DVD is put in, it will play from 0 to 15 seconds, and then once it reaches the end of that point, it'll only loop back from 13 seconds and play just those couple seconds as a continuous loop. Now, you've got this all set up, and you want to preview it. So you click on Preview, and nothing's happening. Well, the reason for that is because, as I said before, you have to render your video file. So this option right here, if you highlight it, it'll say Render Current Motion Menu or Slideshow. So we'll click on that, and we'll let this render. And we'll get back to you as soon as it's done rendering. All right, and welcome back. And as you can see, this has all been rendered, and now the background plays seamlessly. So we'll watch this. After a short time, we'll have the buttons appear. And there they are. And now you can see, once it's completed the full run from 0 to 15 seconds, it's looping back from that 13 second loop point that we created. And that's all there really is to it. Now, you can get more creative with it. The first thing I would recommend is actually learning how to build a DVD menu. You can do this right in Encore, or you can do this in Photoshop, which we'll show you how to do in later tutorials. So I hope this helped. Don't forget you have to render this video if you want to preview it. And thanks for watching.